Sir John Templeton, who was he? Sir John Templeton, the founder of the Templeton Growth Fund, was a legendary investor and mutual fund manager. He was a pioneer in global value investing, and when he sold his firm in 1992, his family of funds had more than $13 billion in assets. Following this sale, he dedicated the rest of his life to philanthropic endeavors. The Investment Philosophy of Sir John Templeton Sir John Templeton is widely regarded as one of the most successful investors of the 20th century. He is perhaps best known for being an early proponent of looking for growth opportunities outside of the US. After attending Yale and Oxford universities, he traveled the world and returned convinced that foreign markets and stocks offered just as much opportunity as American markets. Templeton preferred countries with low inflation and fewer regulatory barriers. This philosophy was reflected in his large investments in Japanese equities in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Templeton's other great asset as an investor was his contrarian tendencies, which enabled him to spot value stocks regardless of market trends. Instead of looking for markets or sectors with promising prospects, he looked for those that had been overlooked or abandoned by investors. Templeton saw such a market, or a troubled business, in particular, as an opportunity for growth. He also looked for popularly overvalued assets and invested in them in the hopes of profiting from their eventual depreciation. His reaction to the massive growth in internet stocks in the late 1990s best exemplifies his contrarian approach. When the internet bubble burst, he famously sold several high-flying internet stocks short just as they were emerging from the initial IPO stage, making millions of dollars. Sir John Templeton, A Biography In 1912, Sir John Templeton was born in Tennessee. He graduated from Yale University in 1934 and went on to Oxford to study law as a Rhodes Scholar. He began investing in 1937, and in 1939, he made his first big contrarian bet by purchasing shares in any U.S. stock trading for less than $1 per share. He bought these stocks at a time when Hitler's German army was marching across Europe and Western pessimism reigned supreme. Over the next five years, that portfolio increased by more than 400%. In 1954, Templeton launched the Templeton Growth Fund, the first of what would become his family of mutual funds. With his funds, the mutual fund industry grew, and he continued to offer a diverse range of specialized funds. In 1994, he sold the company and dedicated his time to philanthropic endeavors. He founded the Templeton Foundation in 1987 to fund projects that stemmed from his interest in spirituality and cut across denominational lines. The Templeton Prize for Advancing Religious Progress is one of the Foundation's most well-known awards. Jordan's King Abdullah II was named the winner of the 2018 prize. In order to avoid paying income taxes, Templeton renounced his American citizenship in 1964. He moved to the Bahamas and lived there for the rest of his life. In 2008, he passed away. Let us know in the comments, what should we talk about next?